Welcome, dear readers, to the first page with T.S. Russell and Bartholomew Bear. Today we'll be reading the first page of The Idea of a University by Blessed John Henry Newman. The Idea of a University Preface The view taken of a university in these discourses is the following, that it is a place of teaching universal knowledge. This implies that its object is, on the one hand, intellectual, not moral, and on the other, that it is the diffusion and extension of knowledge rather than the advancement. If its object were scientific and philosophical discovery, I do not see why a university should have students. If religious training, I do not see how it can be the seat of literature and science. Such is a university in its essence, and independently of its relation to the church. But practically speaking, it cannot fulfill its object duly, such as I have described it, without the church's assistance. Or, to use the theological term, the church is necessary for its integrity. Not that its main characters are changed by this incorporation. It still has the office of intellectual education, but the church steadies it in the performance of that office. Such are the main principles of the discourses which follow. Though it would be unreasonable for me to expect that I have treated so large and important a field of thought with the fullness and precision necessary to secure me from incidental misconceptions of my meaning on the part of the reader. It is true there is nothing novel or singular in the argument which I have been pursuing, but this does not protect me from such misconceptions, from the very circumstance that the views I have been delineating are not original with me, may lead to false notions as to my relations in opinion towards those from whom I happened in the first instance to learn them, and may cause me to be interpreted by the objects or sentiments of schools to which I should be simply opposed.